गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स Students, good evening. Good evening, sir. Today we will start with arithmetic progressions. Anyone having any doubts from quadratic equations from yesterday discussion? Any questions you gone through personally, students? Please. So in algebra we are having two topics for the second semester: quadratic equations and arithmetic progressions. Today we will complete arithmetic progressions. So. motivation for the studying the arithmetic progression derivation for the nth term and some of the first n terms in their applications in solving daily life problems application based on sum of n terms of ap are excluded so based on uh, sn formula application based questions related to sn formula is not there almost all everything is there uh, except sn formula is also there but applications of sn formula is not there that means word problems related to sn formula So I will show the syllabus copy one more time, so it will be easy for you people to retain what is there and what is not there. If you look into this, what is just AP derivation for n terms, nth term, and solving the daily life problems, applications based on SN formula are excluded. That's what is the scope of the syllabus. Yeah. So before going to the class, please let me know anyone having any doubts uh, from quadratic equations from your personal material or anything. in his school numericals or anything students no sir yeah so shall i move to arithmetic progression yes sir generally we will call as ap we are having different type of progressions arithmetic progression harmonic progression and geometric progression these three progressions we are going to discuss in plus 1 11th standard but here arithmetic progression we are going to discuss so generally the meaning of progressions means some set of sequence of numbers is called progressions a sequence 3 5 7 9 9 and so on even i can say 1 2 3 if this is also one kind of sequence and i can say 1 4 9 16 and 25 36 and so on this is also one kind of sequence so if the sequence when we can call this is a progression it should be related the term should be related see if i am seeing this is a sequence is developed of squares of the natural numbers 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square 5 square like this when it comes to here each and every number is increased by 1 when it comes to here each and every number is increased by 2 so these kind of things are these kind of series are called sequences so out of we are having many sequences out of all these sequences we are having only arithmetic progression so we are going to discuss a special condition is called arithmetic progression when we a sequence uh, a sequence is list of number or a series of numbers can be called arithmetic progression a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding 
a fixed number to its preceding to its preceding term Ex except the first term is called an arithmetic progression generally we will call as ap when we are abbreviating ap or we can say like this also a list of numbers is called in arithmetic progression when we can call in arithmetic progression if and only if any terms if the difference of if the difference of any term from its preceding so there should be an order you have to follow you could not take randomly some terms any term from its preceding term is constant so so many ways you can define this one if a b c are in ap b is equal to a plus c the average of preceding and succeeding term is equal to the a number middle term then those three numbers are in ap like that also you can explain so the difference between two successive terms is known as common difference the difference between two successive this constant which is constant the constant usually denoted by d is known as constant uh, common difference this all the thing, all the things you know now how i can write this uh, discussion in mathematically suppose if i am saying first term a1 second term a2 third term a3 fourth term a4 and so on an there are n terms is there might be the sequence is finite or infinite suppose if there is an ending then it is called finite progression if the, there is no ending that is called infinite progression both are uh, both can be calculated infinite progressions so these are the terms of the progression so when i can say these terms are in ap if i say a2 minus a1 must be equal to some value and so as a3 minus a2 must be same difference you have to get a4 minus a3 also same difference a5 minus a4 also same difference so whenever you are getting the common difference that means a2 minus a1 the difference between two successive terms of uh, the progression is fixed then that is called which is equal to d that is called arithmetic progression the common difference that constant the difference between two successive terms is a constant and that difference is known as common difference is it clear what is meant by common difference definition and all students yes sir now initially we will have some numericals uh, we have to check whether the given series is in ap or not how to check given series in ap or not how we can check the given series is in ap or not i'm giving some numericals i need the answer minus 5 minus 1 just apply the definition what is the definition take two or three sets of the successive terms find out the common difference check whether it is same or not 0.6 1.7 2.8 3.9 check whether the common difference is same or not
whether check whether these series are in ap or not how to find out this is like a1 this is like a2 this is like a3 this explanation is not required a4 so what is a2 minus a1 minus 1 minus of minus 5 this is minus 1 plus 5 is equal to 4 what is a3 minus a2 next successive set 3 minus of minus 1 it is also 4 what is a4 minus a3 7 minus 3 it is 4 so which is getting a common difference so here the common difference is coming 4 so that this is a this set these are the four numbers are in a b so when it comes to second one this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 first one second one third one fourth there are four numbers is given so what is the first set uh, difference i'm getting 1.7 minus 0 0.6 it's coming 1.1 a3 minus a2 is 2.8 minus 1.7 what is the answer 1.1 only now here also a4 minus a3 also 3.9 minus 2.8 it is also 1.1 so here i can say the given series are is these numbers are in ap what about this series 0 0.1 0 0.11 0 0.111 0 0.1111 are these four numbers are in ap no sir no because the difference between this and this is how much the difference between this and this is 0 0.01 and what about the difference between this one 0 0.001 correct again this difference is 0 0.0001 so you are getting uh, that the common difference between two successive terms is not same that's the reason we can't say this is in ap so this series is not in ap now how to construct if i know the first term and common difference suppose if if i know the first term a1 is equal to a and common difference d is equal to d how to construct the series how to construct the arithmetic progression it's very simple first term is a second term is it should increase it by the common difference second term is this is second one again a plus d plus d again a plus d plus d plus d so this is a a plus d this is a plus 2d a plus 3d and next will come a plus 3d plus d a plus 4d like this you can construct the series to any level whatever thing you want so this is first term a1 this is second term in second term only you are going to add so 1d you are going to add in second term in third term you are going to add 2d's 3, 2 times d this is fourth term this is fifth term so now we will see some questions related to this write the first four terms of the ap first question a is equal to minus 1 common difference will be equal to 1 by 2 I am giving two questions because this is a simple question. A is equal to root 2. Common difference is equal to 1 by root 2. Simple. How to do this one? He is asking A1 value, A2 value, A3 value, A4 value. If you are confusing A1 is equal to A, A2 is equal, just add to the preceding common difference. A3 is equal to A2 plus D. A4 is equal to A3 plus D. If I'm substituting these things, you will get answer minus one. This is minus one plus one by two. So the answer is minus one by two. Again, minus one by two plus one by two. This is zero. Zero plus one by two. One by two. Just 
you have to add one minus one. If I'm adding one by two, this is minus one by two. If I'm adding one by two, zero. If I'm adding one by two, zero plus one by two, one by two. So this is how we can construct the series. Anyone can give the answer for the second question. What I wrote on this? Guys, please complete the second question. What I gave on the screen, please. Sir, three by root two and four by root two. Three by root two and four by root two. So he is asking four terms. A is equal to root two. That is a one. A two is equal to a one plus d. That is. Root two plus one by root two. That is three by root two. This is a two. A three is equal to a two plus d. Three. That is three by root two plus one by root two. How much, madam? This is four by root two. Yes, sir. That is nothing but two root two. Simplest form. A four is equal to two root two plus again root two. One by root two. This will be. Ah, uh, four plus one by five root two, so five by root two. So what is answer? I can write. You can make two uh, two sense. It's a one by root root two, three by root two, and four by root two, five by root two. Agree? Yes, sir. Or you can write two root two. Three, three by root two, three times one by root two, two times root two, four again, five times one by root two. Like that also, you can write this. Where we show you are going to write. Now, we can find out these kind of questions also based on the verification. One by two, one by three, one by four. One by five. Verify the numbers are in AP or not. The given fractions are in AP or not. Verify the series is in AP or not. If the series, if it is in AP, find first term. And common difference. Hope you understand what is the question. Check. This is one question. Same question. You have to check whether it is AP or not. If it is AP, you have to find out the first term and common difference. This is my second question. Try to solve these two questions. The first one is not AP. Clearly says D. Ah, uh, one by three minus one by two is equal to how much? Minus ah uh, one by six. When it comes to one by four minus one by three is equal to minus one by twelve. So here itself I can decide the given series not in AP. So when it is not in AP, no point of First term and common difference. Here, these these are the numbers not in the standard form. So root three is the exact irrational form, and root twelve is nothing but root of four into three, which can be written as two root three. 
root to 27, the simplest form is 9 into 3, which can be written as 3 root 3. And root 48, the simplest form is 16 into 3, that is 4 root 3. So the given series should be modified in its simplest form, then only you have to proceed to understand whether it is an AP or not. Otherwise, I cannot calculate. So this root 3, root 2 can be written as 2 root 3, root 27 can be written as 3 root 3, root 48 can be written as 4 root 3. So here, this is A1. So A2 minus A1 is equal to root 3. A3 minus A2 is equal to 3 minus 2, so root 3. A4 minus A3 is equal to root 3. So I'm getting the common differences, root 3. And my first term is root 3. So it's over. So the given, this is the given series is in AP, or the given terms are in AP. Is it clear, students? Yes, sir. Now, if I'm giving a situation, how to identify whether it is AP or not? That is also one more of questions which you done in uh, class. They will give one situation. They will ask uh, whether check whether it is an AP or not. Simple interest is an AP or not. The principal amount at the end of every year, if I calculate the simple interest. Suppose 1000 rupees I am depositing in a bank, I'm calculating the simple interest at the end of the year, uh, after first year, I will get, suppose if it is a 10%, so 100 rupees, 1100. This is the principal amount. Next year, 1200. Next year, 1300. Next year, 1400. Interest on interest, I'm not going to calculate. I'm going to calculate only on principal amount. But when it comes to compound interest, not in AP. The principal amounts of the uh, a deposit at the end of every year, if I'm collecting the digits, this will use the an arithmetic progression series. Like this, you can get some kind of questions. Shall I go for some numericals related to these kind of questions, students? Guys, I can go some questions. Yes, sir. A, 2A plus 1, 3A plus 2. This is second term, this is third term, and 4A plus 3. Check the progression is AP or not. If AP, find A and D values where A is the first term, don't confuse. Find first term, first term is very simple. If it is AP, the first number is called first term. So whether it is in AP or not, check whether it is in AP or not. Is it in AP or not? Sir, it is AP, sir. Yeah, how to calculate? So, A, this is A1, this is A2. There are four terms is given here. A3, this is A4. 
So a two minus a one is equal to two a plus one minus a. This is how much, madam? A plus one. A plus one. So I'm taking a three minus a two. This is three a plus two minus two a plus one. This will be three minus two a. Two minus one is one. So a plus one. So a minus a four minus a two is equal to four a plus three minus three a plus two. This will be four minus three a. Three minus two is one. So here the first term is a. That is your a one. Common difference is a plus one. Like this, we can decide. Next question. Same. Check whether it is in AP or not. If it is in AP, find out the common difference. Root three, root six, root nine, root twelve, and so on. Check it. Try to do this question. Not AP, sir. How we can say it is not AP? Sir, difference is not same, sir. Okay, root six minus root three. What is the difference? Sir, root three into root two minus one. Root three into root two minus one. Root nine minus root six. What is the difference? If I am taking root three common, what I will get? Sir, uh, root three minus root two. Root three minus root two. So definitely, root three is only the common. This value is not equal to this value. Correct? If I'm taking root twelve minus root nine, how I will get? Sir, root three common and two minus root three. Root three. If I'm taking common, two minus root three. Root three. Is these values are same? No, sir. Once again, two three, two by two. Once again, guys. Yeah. So it's not in AP. Common difference is not same, so not in AP. Yeah. So general term. Suppose if it is hundred, I want to find out the a hundred or a two hundred. I can't write all the two hundred terms. So for that I have to give the general term. So if a one, a two, a three, and so on, a n is a series, is a progression, and is in AP with first term A 
common difference is d that means a1 is equal to a a2 is equal to a plus d a3 is equal to i have to add d plus a2 that is a plus 2d a3 is equal to a4 is equal to a plus 3d so there is a relation between position and this number this can be written as a plus 1 minus 1 into d this is the first one when it comes to second one a plus 2 minus 1 into d i have to write a common pattern a plus 3 minus 1 into d then i am getting a3 value so 2d when it comes to here one less than the position so this is a plus 4 minus 1 into d like that if i want to write a 100 so a plus 100 minus 1 into d same way if i want to write for nth position a plus n minus 1 into d this expression is known as nth term of ap are you clear what i am saying students yes sir so if a is the first term n is the position of the term and d is the common difference so a n means nth term you can write as t n also or called nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d this is a nth term formula when the numbers are in arithmetic progression and the numbers are in arithmetic progression if i know this nth term it will be easy suppose if n is equal to 0 i will get a1 is equal to a if n is equal to 1 i will get a2 is equal to a plus d if i am taking n is equal to 3 i will get a3 is equal to a plus 2d if i am taking n is equal to m a plus m minus 1 into d like that if i am taking n is equal to m plus 1 i will get a plus m plus m into d if i am subtracting the two successive terms i will get common difference is d only that is how i can prove this is an ap shall we go for some numericals based on the nth term simple numericals only only the thing is you have to understand the logic of the question i can give some numericals will you calculate students will you practice yes sir find the tenth term of ap 2 comma 7 comma 12 comma and so on solve this question so first identify a value and d value from the given data what is the a value 2 d is 7 minus 2 or 12 minus 7 that is equal to 5 so he is asking a 10 so that is equal to a plus 10 minus 1 into d a plus 9 d that is 2 plus 9 into the common difference is 5 2 plus 45 is equal to 47 this is how I can calculate the tenth term of an AP. Clear? I can go for one more question. Yes, sir. Find nth term, twentieth term of an AP 5, 1, minus 3, minus 7, and so on. Calculate, find out. If you observe, your n is always like a natural number here. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स अंड ऑल यू वोट गेट यू नेवर गेट एन इज ए रेशनल नंबर आर इेशनल नंबर आर इंटीजर इट्स इज ऑलवेज ए नैचुरल नंबर Anyone got the answer? Let me know. Sir, ninety one. So a twenty is equal. To, first, find out the a value. A is equal to five. D is equal to how much? Minus four. Because One minus five is equal to minus four. So a twenty is equal to a plus n minus one into b. This is a is equal to five plus n minus one. Twenty minus one into d is equal to minus four. This will be five plus nineteen into minus four. What is the answer, madam? You got. Five minus seventy-six. My answer is coming as sixty-one, which is a twenty. A twenty is minus sixty-one. If you observe, this is called decreasing series. So a twenty is Seventy one, not sixty one. Sorry, guys. Seventy one. So same as a n is equal to a plus n minus one into b. This is uh, a is five, n value n only minus one into d value is minus four. If I am solving this one, five minus four n plus four. So this will be uh, equal to nine minus four n is the A N value. This is how I can solve. Anyone having any doubt in this question? How I solve? Don't confuse with the numbers, please. Carefully, how to attend the questions. Shall I go for the next question? Yes. Next one. Find a eleven from ten comma seven comma four and so on minus sixty two R in A B. Calculate. How to calculate a eleven? What the answer? Anyone got the answer? Sir, thirty seven. First, find out a is equal to ten, d is equal to seven minus ten, that is minus three. So a eleven is equal to a plus eleven minus one into d 
that is a plus 10d where a is equal to 10 plus 10 into d is equal to minus 3 10 minus 30 i am getting the answer is minus 20 ma'am sir i actually took plus 3 instead of minus 3. careful Suppose if I am saying what is the position of the minus 62, if a, what is it, which term is the minus 62? If a n is equal to minus 62, find n value. That means position of a particular term. They gave the term, they are asking which position it is. At what position the term will come? If a n is equal to minus 62, uh, find the n value. When you opposite them, our question is they gave the nth term and we have to calculate what is the 10 n value, which term? So first or second or third or tenth or twelfth or like that. So 23rd term. Yeah. Simple, just write the an formula. What is the an formula says? Just believe only one formula, don't remember many things. a plus n minus 1 into d. If we observe this formula, there are four variables. 1, 2, 3, 4. Compulsory, you require 3. I am having an. From the series, I am having common difference, first term. So from here, an, they gave as six, minus 62 a is equal to 10, d is equal to minus 3. Substitute all the values, find out the unknown value. Suppose if I am substituting, this is minus 62, a is equal to 10 plus n minus 1 into d is equal to minus 3. This is minus 62, 10, if I am multiplying minus 3n plus 3. This will be equal to how much? 3n is equal to 13 plus 62, which is 60, 75 by, so n is equal to 75 by 3. Answer is 25. What answer you got, madam? Same. Sir, I got 23. Any mistake I done myself? Sir, it is minus 10, sir, when it goes to the other side. No, I am taking this one, this side, minus 62, this side. Check your calculation one more time. I didn't get your calculation. If I am taking A25, let's see what answer I am getting. If it is a25, a is 10 plus 24 into minus 3. So 10 minus 72 minus 6. Sir, actually, uh, it is like plus 10 plus 62 minus 3, sir. Why minus 3? How? Sir, minus 3 into plus 1. How? This is... Sir, I'm wrong, sir. Yeah, careful. <laughs> Yeah, I can give one more question. The question is like this, how we will find AP whose nth term is Three n minus five. Solve this question. Try. 
simple only you have to understand the logic find ap whose nth term at least two three terms you have to calculate from this is asking find ap if anyone got the answer please let me know Sir, minus four. No, he is asking AP. AP means suppose see, what is the AN value? Sir, minus two one four. AN is equal to A plus N minus one into D. If N N is equal to one, my I will get A. If N is equal to two, I will get A plus D. If N is equal to three, I will get A plus two D. Like that, if AN is equal to three N minus five. If n is equal to one, so a one is equal to minus two. N is equal to two, a two is equal to plus one. N is equal to three, a three is equal to plus four. N is equal to four, a four is equal to seven. So the series is minus two, one, four, seven, and so on. Whose a is equal to minus two? Common difference is equal to three. See here, the difference between these two terms is three. Four minus one also three. Seven minus four also three. If I want to write next one, ten will come. Substitute n is equal to five. We'll get to ten. So like that, you have to construct the series if they gave the expression of the nth term. So don't confuse when they are giving some equation in terms of n. That means they are simplified. Simple. Now see. they will give some number they will ask you to check whether that number is belongs to that series or not what is the logic in this question find out the an consider the an is given and calculate for the nth value if n is a fraction or decimal or some other thing then it is not belongs to that series if n is a natural number then that number is belongs to that series simple logic because according to the definition n is valid only first term second term third term fourth term like that So that n must be a natural number after solving. See this question. Check whether three not one is a term of the list of numbers of the list of Numbers five, eleven, seventeen, twenty-three. Even he didn't say it is in AP or not, but mostly they will give AP. First, I am checking whether it is AP or not. A two minus A one is equal to eleven minus five is equal to six. A three minus A two is equal to seventeen minus eleven is equal to six. A four minus A three is equal to Twenty-three minus seventeen is equal to six. So the list of numbers are in AP. With first term is five, common difference is six. So a n is equal to five plus n minus one into six. This will be five plus six minus six n minus six. This will be equal to six n minus one. He is saying check whether three not one is the belongs to this number or not. If my a plus n minus one into d is equal to three not one, n should be a natural number. 
So how much I am getting? The value of a plus n minus one into d is six n minus one, which is equal to three not one. From here, six n is equal three not to two. So from here, n is equal three not two by six, which is a value of fifty one by three. Your six fifty is three hundred. So three hundred by six plus two by six. This is fifty plus one by three. So fifty one by three term is not possible. Either it should be fifty or either it should be fifty one. N is possible only a natural number. So there is no term in the given list. We can conclude three not one is not the number. Is not there is no term. There is no term in the given list of numbers which is three not one. This is how we can we have to decide this question. Is it clear? Shall I go for next question like this? Students, able to clear? Are you clear? What I am trying to say? I can go for the next one. Students, please respond. Are you clear with this question or not? Yes, sir. Understood. Next question. Which term of the AP? Twenty one, eighteen, fifteen, and so on. Is minus eighty one. Also, is any term zero? Give reason. If it is there, give reason. If it is not there, it is give reason. That means he is asking indirectly: Is zero is a part of the series or not? Give reason for your answer. Solve this question. Two questions are involved. One is find the position of the minus eighty one. Second one is whether zero is the part of the series or not, like part of the progression. Is zero will come in the progression or not? How to check? Consider a n is equal to zero. Find out the n value. If n is a natural number, it is belongs to the series. If n is not natural number, it is not belongs to the series. Sir, minus eighty one is thirty fifth term, sir. Minus eighty one is thirty fifth term. Super correct. So, what is the a value from the series? First, find out the a value and d value. Sir, twenty one is a value. Twenty one. D is equal to eighteen minus twenty one, which is equal to minus three. Minus three. 
तो ए एन इज इक्वल ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी विच इज गिवेन एज माइनस एटी वन सो वेर ए इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू माइनस थ्री विच इज एटी वन माइनस एटी वन सो ट्वेंटी वन माइनस थ्री एन प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस एटी वन फ्रॉम हियर माइनस थ्री एन कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस एटी वन माइनस थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी वन सो थ्री एन विल बी इक्वल टू एटी प्लस एटी थ्री एटी प्लस ट्वेंटी हंड्रेड हंड्रेड एंड फाइव प्लस हंड्रेड एंड फाइव सो दिस इज हाउ मेनी टाइम्स मैडम थर्टी फाइव टाइम्स Sir, and zero is uh, eight. Correct. If a n is equal to zero, so twenty one minus three n plus three is equal to zero. Minus three n is equal to minus twenty four. N is equal to minus twenty four by minus three. Eight. So n is equal to eight term. Like this also, you can discuss. Is it clear what I am trying to say, students? Yes, sir. I can move on to the next question. Yes, sir. try to solve this kind of questions the 26th 11th and last term of an ap last term of an ap or 0 3 minus 1 by 5 And minus one by five respectively. Find the common difference. Find the common difference. Total number of terms and the number of terms. Solve this question. Number of terms can be calculated only when the series is finite. Do this question, please. Sir, is d minus one by five? Sorry. Sir, d is equal to minus one by five. Minus one by five. How to calculate the d value? I know a twenty six is equal to a plus n minus one into d. That is a plus twenty five d, which is equal to how much? Zero. A eleven is equal to a plus ten d, which is equal to three. If I'm solving this one, if I'm subtracting 25 minus 10, 15 d is equal to minus 3. D is equal to minus 3 by 15, so minus 1 by 5. So I got the common difference is equal to minus 1 by 5. Substituting this common difference in any one expression will gives the a plus 25 into minus 1 by 3 is equal to 0. So a is equal to plus 25 by 3 is the first term. My a n is equal to minus one by five. Then find the n value. That is the total number of terms. Got it? What I'm saying, ma'am? Sir, a is equal to five, sir. A is equal to five. How? Sir, I got a is equal to. I got a is equal to. Sir, 
D we have taken as one minus three. D is equal to one by three, so it is one by five actually minus one by five. So this is five. This is five times. So five, correct. A is equal to five. So A n is given as minus one by five. Find the n value. That is the total number of terms. Find the n value from this equation. What is answer you are getting? Tell me. After calculation of n value. A plus n minus one into d is equal to minus one by five. Substitute the values and let me know what is the n value. Sir, twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven is the right answer. Can I go for one more question? Yes, sir. See, I'm not going to any clue in this question. Just you have to try and solve. I will give some time to solve. The eighth term of an AP is half of its second term. The eighth term of an AP is half of its Second term. And eleventh term exceeds one third of. Fourth term by one. Find the fifteenth term. Find the fifteenth term. Try this question. I'm not going to give any clue. Just question is here. Try to solve. We'll see after a few minutes. Responses.
Anyone got the answer? Friends, anyone got the answer? Friends, anyone got the answer? A15 is 3 is the right answer. Yes, sir. Even I got it. Got it. So here, the thing is, I will give the clues because I'm going to give two, two more questions like this. Just copy these questions. If not, we can discuss in next class. So the first thing is A8 is half of A2. This is one relation. You apply A in formula here. We know A n is what? A8 will be A plus 70. A2 will be A plus D. So from this, you can get one relation. The next relation was A11 will be equal to one third of A4 plus one exceeds one. This is second relation. From here, A4 can be written as A plus 3D. A11 can be written as A plus 10D. So you will get two linear equations of two variables, A comma D. Then solving the equations will use a comma d. Once you got the a comma d, you can find out a 15 compatible a. What is your a value you got in the question? A I will get minus 39 and d is how much you got guys? D is equal to 3. Then automatically a 15 you will get how much? 3. So like this you have to solve this question. So I'm going to copy two more questions before going to the SN formula. So try to solve these two questions also. I will give the time. Is it clear? I can go to the next question. Students? Yes, sir. Next. I'm going to write the both the questions here. If m times the mth term of an AP, I think this we already discussed. Leave it this question. So that the sum of m plus nth term and 
m minus nth term of an ap is equal to twice the mth term this m and n are only to confuse us read the problem clearly try to understand and in an ap second question the pth term is one by q and qth term is 1 by p find p into qth term try to solve these two questions i will give you 5 minutes time if not doubt i will explain otherwise we will move to the um, sn formula which is the end of this arithmetic progression SN formula based on SN formula direct questions. We don't have any applications or word problem based on the SN formula. Just derivation of SN formula, how to do it, and a few basic numericals related to that. Anyone got the first question? got the first question
show that the sum of the m plus nth term that means we know a m plus n can be written as a plus m plus n minus 1 into d this is m plus nth term a m minus nth term is a plus m minus n minus 1 into d this sum if i am adding these two a m plus n plus a m minus n will be equal to a plus m plus n minus 1 into d plus a plus m minus n minus 1 into d if i am taking d common i will get m plus n minus 1 plus m minus n minus 1 minus n plus n will cancel i will get 2a plus d into 2m minus 2 if i am taking 2 common i will get a plus m minus 1 into d on the right hand side so finally i am getting this sum is equal to 2 times of a plus m minus 1 into d this is represents 2 times of a m so the sum of m plus 1 m plus n and m minus nth terms is 2 times the a m so which is equal to 2 times the a m this is only the proof for this hope you are clear what i done here students is it clear yes sir so shall i move to the second question anyone tried the second question second question anyone tried anyone tried the second question in an ap consider the first term is a consider the first term is a and common difference is d the pth term is 1 by q that is a p will be equal to a plus p minus 1 into d will be equal to 1 by q this is my first equation same as a q will be equal to a plus q minus 1 into d will be equal to 1 by p this is my second term so he is saying what is the apq is how much what is the apq value a is apq is equal to a plus pq minus 1 into d i need the value of this so if i, I want to calculate a value d value so substituting i will get the answer straight away so how i will get if i am taking ap minus aq i will get uh, subtraction of these two this is minus this is minus this is minus what i will get d into p minus 1 minus q plus 1 is equal to 1 by q minus 1 by p so minus 1 plus 1 cancel so my common difference p minus q will into d will be equal to p minus q by pq so p minus q p minus q cancel so where my common difference i am getting as 1 by pq so i got common difference is 1 by pq if i am substituting this common difference to calculate the a value a plus p minus 1 into 1 by pq is equal to 1 by q q q cancel so i got a is equal to minus of p minus 1 by p or 1 minus p by p this is my a value now I am having the A value. I am having the D value. Substituting in this equation will get the answer. So what is the A value? 1 minus P by P. 1 minus P by P. So A P Q is equal to A plus P Q minus 1 into D. So, a value I am writing as 1 minus p by p plus 
pq minus 1 into d is 1 by pq d is 1 by pq this is 1 minus p by p plus if i am multiplying this one 1 minus 1 by pq so how i can uh, relate this one students how i can solve for other is a value is correct is my a value is correct if i'm substituting p minus 1 by 1 by pq qq cancel No, I can't cancel QQ. This calculation is wrong, students. Please. I can't cancel straight away because it is adding by A. When I'm adding, I can't cancel straight away. This is wrong. From here, if I'm solving, I will get A is equal to 1 by Q minus P by PQ plus 1 by pq so pp cancel 1 by q 1 by q cancel so the answer is 1 by pq so where my a is also 1 by pq a is equal to 1 by pq this is 1 by pq so the answer is 1 so the value of pq the term is 1 is it clear Ma'am, Murta, Harita, anyone in this form? Is it clear? Shall I go for the SN problem? What is meaning of SN? It's a sum of the N terms. If I'm adding all the terms, how to find out? There are two ways to calculate. Suppose if I'm adding the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, 100 numbers I have to add. So I can add 1 plus 2, 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5. So what I'm doing is I'm reversing all the numbers. I'm getting here 99. I will get here 98. Here I will get 1. This is 101. This is also 101. This is also 101. So I will get 101 100 times. So 100 into 101, because I'm adding two times, so divided by 2. This is one way of doing the addition of 100 numbers. 50 into 101. So the answer is 5050 is the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100. This is the method is leading to calculation of SN formula. Suppose if A, comma D are the numbers, first term and common difference A, A plus D, A plus 2D, and so on a plus n minus 1 into d is the n terms. Suppose if I'm asking add a, a plus d plus a plus 2d plus and so on, a plus n minus 1 into d. So a, how many times I'm having? n times. n times a plus, this is 0 plus 1d plus 2d plus and so on n minus 1 into d. So this is sum of n terms. How I can calculate this one? How to do this question? Anyone? Same as previous question, there are n terms. I'm adding n minus 1 into d here, n minus 2 into d here, n minus 3 into d here, and so on, 0 here. So each sum is n minus 1 into d into n times by 2. So this will be n into n minus 1 into d by 2 plus n a. If I'm taking common, n by 2 into 
a plus n minus 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So this 2a plus n minus 1 into d, this is the one form of the nth term. If I know the first term and uh, common difference. If I don't know the common difference, I can rewrite as, if I know the total number of terms, a plus, this can be written as a plus a, a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the nth term. This is the first term. So this can be written as n by 2 into a1 plus a n. If I know the first and last term of the series, the sum of the n terms is a1 plus a n by 2 into n. That is nothing but s n can be written as if a and l are the first and last terms of the number where n is a number of terms. This is also one more formula we can write as s n formula where s n having two different expressions. One is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d, n by 2 into a plus l. Like this, you can write these two questions. This is the derivation. You can use the different derivations, different books, they're following different derivations. This I'm giving the simplest one. Is it clear, students? Shall I go for a few numericals? Students? One or two numericals will go and we'll wind up the session. Guys, please. Find sum of first hundred natural numbers. Here very clear, n is equal to 100, a is equal to one, l is equal to 100. So Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. This is 100 by 2 into 101. So 50 into 101 and it will be 5050. Or I can use Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Where common difference, natural numbers means 1, 2, 3 and so on, where a is equal to 1, d is also 1 and n is equal to 100. Total number of terms is 100. 100 by 2, 2 into 1 plus 99 into 1. This will be 100 by 2 into 2 plus 99 is 101. This is 50. Again, I am getting 50 into 101, 50. 50 is the sum of 100 natural numbers. Hope you are clear what I am saying. Is it clear, students? Yes, sir. Shall we do one or two numericals based on this? Find the sums of given below. Here the logic is you have to definitely use AP form like there if you don't know some terms. First one. The given series is in AP. Find out 7 plus 21 by 2 plus, 14 plus, and so on, 84. How to solve this question? Or if I'm saying A is equal to 7, L is equal to 84, and uh, A1 is 7, A2 is equal to 21 by 2, A3 is equal to 14, find, uh, this is AN, find SN. Like this also, I may ask the same question. Find out the answer for this question.
Anyone got the answer? First, you have to calculate the nth value. This is a a1, this is a2, this is a3, and this is a n. If you know the nth value, it will be easy. Otherwise, it was not so easy because n is compulsory. You need to know the number of terms. So a is equal to 7, b is equal to 21 by 2 minus 7. How much? 21 minus 14 by 2. This is 7 by 2. So a n is equal to 84, which is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So 84 is equal to where a is 7 plus n minus 1 into 7 by 2. From here, n minus 1 into 7 by 2 is equal to 84 minus 7. 84 minus 7 is how much? 70. 7. So n minus 1 into 7 by 2 is 77. From here, n minus 1 is equal to 77 into 2 by 7, 7, 11 times. So the answer is 22. So n minus 1 is equal to 22, n is equal to 23. So now it is ready to solve. Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus n. Because you know the L value. So straight away we can take 23 by 2 into where A is equal to 7, L is equal to 84. So 23 by 2 into 84 plus 7, 91. So what is the answer? Keep it in fraction, uh, in decimal, uh, like fraction. No need to convert into decimal and all. Just keep it in that fraction. Is it clear what I'm trying to say, students? The answer yes. 2093 by 2, correct? Is it right? 91 into 23. Yeah, 2093 by 2 is answer. Yes or no? Friends, please respond. Yes or no? Yes, sir. One last question. Please try to solve because there is no limit for solving, I mean, practicing. You have to explore your own and come with the doubts. Find the sum of the last 10 terms of the AP 8, 10, 12, and so on, 126. Whenever you are getting last five terms, last 10 terms, 10th uh, term from the 10th one from the last, rewrite the AP in reverse order. So its common difference is two, if I'm writing eight to 126. So this is 124, this is 122. So 126, 124, 122, and so on. 12, 10, eight. Now, from the end 10th term, if I'm writing re, uh, reverse order, from, you have to calculate, now it is your A1, this is A2, it is A3. If I, after writing the reverse order, your A2, a10 is the last 10th uh, one from the beginning. So he's asking S10. So how to calculate S10? N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. No need to know the A10 value here. So N is called how much in this case? 126 by, sorry. 10 by 2 
2 times 126 plus 10 minus 1 into your D is when I am writing reverse order, D must be very important. Minus 2 is the D here. Carefully, you have to calculate the D after rewriting in the reverse. If it is general format, it is positive. After writing the reverse order, it is negative. If it is negative, if it is a decreasing series, if you are rewriting the series in reverse order, it will be positive. Careful. So find out the value and let me know what is the answer for this question. I will get an answer of 1170. Check if you are getting the answer is 1170. Otherwise, you will work out. Anyone got the right answer? Students? Got the answer? Arita? Akshita, anyone? Students, please. Please let me know if you got the correct answer. Got the same answer, sir. Yeah. So any, please practice some more questions from, uh, I told you I will share the worksheets. Might be tonight, I'm going to hand it over to Institute. So night or tomorrow morning, they will share the worksheets on all topics. Constructions by the end of the week, I'm planning, might be Raghavasar will take or we will be, uh, we will meet in the physical space within this week or uh, next week, first day. Let's see how it is. What are the possibilities for the constructions topic? It will take hardly one hour and practice. It's your wish how much time you're taking. So we'll meet in next class. Please uh, come with the doubts. Please solve the worksheets or what are the materials you are having. Come with the doubts. We'll discuss in next class. Bye, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you.